Yo, what's going on guys? EK3 Mike here. So I wanted to make a little video um, in regards to this uh, manual conversion that I'm doing on my car. Um, pretty much like any other manual conversion except my car is right-hand drive. So for those of you that are right-hand drive, there's been a little bit of confusion with what pedal assembly to use. So I kind of found this out the hard way and wanted to make a little video to help you guys from making the same mistake. So I had sourced a really, really clean set of left-hand drive uh, manual pedals for my uh, Civic EK. Uh, they actually came from Germany. Super, super clean. They look like they, look like they were brand new. Uh, I was really happy with them. I was really hyped about it. And um, <laughs> I started doing research after. I guess I should have done the research before, but I did some research after, and I realized that the shape of the pedal, uh, specifically the brake pedal, uh, the right-hand drive pedal assembly has a different shape, a different angle to it. Um, so in order to use the left-hand drive uh, pedal assembly, you'd have to make some pretty serious modifications and it's really not even worth it. You're just better off getting a right-hand drive uh, manual pedal assembly. So um, I'm gonna post some comparison pictures up for you guys so you can see uh, the differences in the shape. And I'll also show you this set that I have here that I picked up not too long ago. This is the, the, correct, um, the correct pedal assembly that I needed. This came from a right-hand drive vehicle. Unfortunately, the condition's not that great, um, but let me let you check it out. So this is what it looks like. Um, these are getting kind of hard to find. They're out there, but the prices are getting a little higher. And what I mean by these is the right-hand drive manual pedal assemblies. The left-hand drive, you can still find them anywhere, um, eBay or just people out there selling them. Um, and they're still fairly cheap. Um, but these right-hand drive ones are not as cheap and a little harder to come by. So what we have here is the um, gas pedal on your right, the brake pedal on the left here. Okay. And then you have your clutch pedal assembly here. Okay. And then... Oops. And then uh, here you have your um, clutch re reservoir, right? The clutch master. So a couple things I want to go over here. So the first thing is this shape here and the angle. This is what's different on the uh, right-hand drive versus the left-hand drive uh, pedal assembly. So I don't... Unfortunately, I don't have, I already sold the other one. Um, Koopa Skip actually purchased that from me. Koop, you the man. Um, he got a really clean set. Uh, but yeah, the shape is different. So I'll post some comparison pictures so you guys can see it. Um, and uh, that's going to be the main thing that, you know, wouldn't let you put a left-hand drive manual pedal assembly into your... Um, your your automatic civic that you're converting to manual um now this should be the same the uh the clutch um assembly should be the same i don't think there's any difference there now the condition of these as you can see not that great they're uh super super rusty um so there's two things i could do uh, the one thing is, which I, I might just have to do is send these over to the guys at JT powder coating. Definitely this one for, for sure. I'm going to send, um, and you know, the, the pedal itself, not too bad. Of course, I'm going to put the new, um, rubber pads on it, whatnot. Um, but this I'll have, I'll have them powder coat, maybe a nice, um, maybe it'll do like a nice silver color. So now with this here, 
there are two things I could do. I could either send this off to the JT boys, let them work their magic on it, um, powder coat it, maybe like a, I don't know, maybe a silver color. I could do black, but it's something nobody's ever going to see. But if you're going to have it powder coated, you might as well pick a color you want, right? So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. But I'm not really a fan of this because it's it's very flimsy. Um, it's it's almost become brittle. It's a little it's a little bent, which is not terrible because you could bend it back. And then once it's in bolted in, it's it should be good to go. But um, the other option, let's say if I didn't um, powder coat this assembly, is I would just unbolt right here. Okay, right here. So this is the part that's gonna come off. And then you can just gonna pop it out from this, this side like that. And this pedal itself will come out. And this is all I really need. So I can swap with my existing automatic pedal. And I could probably do the same with the, with the gas pedal because this is the pedal I need with this shape. And um, I think I'll be good to go. So I'll know more once I'm ready to do that, once I have my, my uh, automatic pedal assembly out of the car. I'll compare them and see if I could just do that. Then I'll just put this brake pedal in place of the one that I have now. I'll check the spacing to make sure it's the same. And uh, that'll be pretty easy. Cause like I said, I don't really like the way this metal is looking. But as far as the, the clutch, um, I'll probably send that to the JT boys, let them do their thing. And another thing now, so what a lot of people do, and, and I actually did this on my on my Integra build, I used a S2K um, clutch master cylinder with the spacer, and uh, I loved it. It was perfect. But now, being that I'm right-hand drive and I'm doing a K-swap, the header is on the back, right? The header, the header comes off of the back of the, the motor, right? So... If you have that S2K and you just get a picture of the firewall, um, maybe I'll throw a picture up, but if you have that S2K master, which will be on the firewall, it's it's gonna be really close to the header. Um, it won't physically be touching anything, but the space will be close. And um, I don't know if heat would be a factor in that. I don't know, maybe you guys know, we, we all know the header, the header gets really, really hot. Uh, so I just thought to myself, maybe instead of doing the S2K, uh, which I said is going to be on the firewall, I'll stick to this setup, which this bolts to the shock tower. Um, maybe do some kind of refresh on this, maybe a new hose, clean this up. I mean, this happens to be in pretty decent shape. It's not rusted or anything like that. I wouldn't really do anything with this, but, um... I'd probably see if uh, I can, you know, freshen this up as much as possible. So maybe maybe a new hose and whatnot and maybe get this uh, vapor blasted um, or, va you know, or uh, with dry ice from my buddy um, PDI Works. So, yeah, that's a thought, too. So anyway. That's that's what we got going on here with your um, manual conversion for right-hand drive cars. So I have a bunch of stuff that I want to bring to um, my buddy Rufino, who has a um, dry ice cleaning business. He actually does uh, vapor blasting as well. Um, there are a couple things that I want to bring to him. So there, there are a couple K-series parts and... Um, you know, I'm thinking now, like, I want to keep this. Uh, it's actually kind of beat. I don't know. We'll see. But I might just bring it to him just to clean it up anyway. Um, but, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post his uh, Instagram up so you guys can see it. And uh, he's got good rates and great quality of work. Definitely um, 
definitely have a couple things to bring him. So check him out. Um, and uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions about your auto to manual swap, uh, specifically the right hand drive like I'm doing, feel free to reach out. Uh, what I didn't mention is uh, if you're if you're going K or you're going B, there's going to be a difference in, in parts that you need. Um, these you'll need either way. Obviously, you need your pedals and you need your your clutch master. Um, but for the B series, you're going to need the B series shift linkage and whatever comes with that. And uh, for the K series, you're going to need your K series shifter and the cables. It's it's kind of self explanatory. But I'm going to make another video once I have all the the pieces uh, on hand. Um, I'm going K, so I'm just going to have the shifter and the um, cables, but I'll be doing an install video for that. Um, but this is just, I have the pedals here, and there's a little bit of confusion, so I figured, let me just um, clear that up with people. So, again, just, you know, if, you're, if you have a right-hand drive vehicle, and you're going from auto to uh, manual, you're going to want to get the right-hand drive or um, manual pedal assembly the usdm or left hand drive manual pedal assembly will not work you could get this which is the clutch um which should work but this piece right here again will not because of that shape of the the uh brake um the shape of the brake uh pedal so anyway hope this helps and i'll check you guys out soon so here's the example I was talking about on the left, you have the JDM, which is straight. And on the right, you have the USDM, which has a clear bend in the brake pedal.